Okay, so today I'm going to discuss about the Aristotelian virtue ethics or the concept of eudaimonia. So talking about the concept of eudaimonia, there was a Greek philosopher named Aristotle who find the concept of well-being as a concept of happiness or eudaimonia. Everything we do in daily life eventually leads to the achievement of well-being. For example, we sleep early and exercise every day because we want to stay healthy. Healthy life is uh, one form of intrinsic value, but sleeping and exercising are instrumental values. These values are parts of the achievement of well-being or the ultimate goal of life. Intrinsic value is something that has value in itself, while instrumental value is something that leads to the intrinsic value. There's also a neutral value where a certain thing has no effect toward the ultimate goal. And the last thing, the negative value, which has a negative influence on the ultimate goal. Next, in order to achieve well-being, people need to practice virtues to experience eudaimonia. Eudaimonia is classified into two forms. Uh, the first one, only the educated elites like monk, surgeon, and engineer with lots of experience can achieve the primary form because it requires lots of practice and knowledge. On the other hand, everyone else can achieve the secondary form of eudaimonia. For example, a goal of having a healthy life and a goal of tra traveling abroad. Next, ethical virtue and intellectual virtue are two types of virtues that are required to reach a high level of self-fulfillment. One can practice ethical virtue by staying in the middle way and not getting too excessive or deficient in anything. For example, if you're too kind, you get exploited by mean people. But if you're being too harsh, you would get a lot of haters. So the middle way is the proper way to stay balanced and practice for eudaimonia. And nevertheless, both virtues need to be practiced together because being a good person is never enough. And intelligence is crucial when it comes to making a decision process on something ethically related. And moving on to the business context of the concept, while the majority of the company aims to maximize profit as their ultimate goal by using all the instrumental values, such as employee, working environment, and strategies to reach the intrinsic value of the company, there are still some companies that do not see profits as their ultimate goal, and Alphabet is one of them. Alphabet aims to improve customers' lives by using technology to improve their personal needs. As the mission statement states on being companies that use technology to improve the lives of billions, the company focuses on using human resources as instrumental values to come up with the base services and products to the customers. At the same time, they care about ethical practices among the employees. That's why they have like a fair code of conduct. This makes the company aim at fulfilling the intrinsic value of the company itself and also customers as well. And as for the intellectual virtue, which is indirectly enforced in the code of conduct, as well to make everyone stay professional and follow the company direction. To keep the ethical virtue in the employee's mind, the code of conduct is there to make sure that every employee respects the culture of the company. And this could prevent unethical activities to occur, which range from all kinds of discrimination to misbehavior against customers. And as for Mason, the company strongly focuses on the implementation of company culture because it wants the employees to work in a friendly environment where they could express their creativity. And it can be seen that Amazon places importance on both employees and customers' experience development. Professional working environment creates a space where employees express their intellectual virtue due to a safe environment of ideas and the, uh, creative thoughts. This also leads to ethical virtues that employees need to practice by understanding the regulations and working culture. So in conclusion, it can be seen that the combination between ethical and intellectual virtue practices could make the businesses become successful in the long run. Thank you, that would be the end of my presentation. Do you, uh, okay, so 